Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Turbo V6 YouTube channel. Today's episode, I'm going to let you in on a little bit something that I've been working on for a while. Hopefully it works. I think I'm about to test fire it for the first time. And yeah, hopefully it goes good. So stay tuned. So yeah, this is something that I've been working on for a while. I think it's pretty good big for the... Uh, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? V6 guys, the 4.3 liter V6 guys. So I'm hoping to get something out there that will potentially inspire a few more people to jump into uh, the V6 stuff. But if not, I wanted to do it anyway. So here we are. I got my little uh, test set up with an oscilloscope. And if you see here, I have some LS1 coils, some truck coils. So I have wired up for both sides, got a timing light. So you pretty much got to know what that means is I'm doing a LS1 coil conversion. So I made basically a trigger wheel that I'll be able to reprogram the stock computer to be able to run without having to use the single coil on the distributor. Technically, I still need a distributor because it has the camshaft sensor built inside of it and it also drives the oil pump for, you know, the 4.3 V6. But other than that, you know, won't have to have super long spark plug wires if you don't want to. Running all the way back to the distributor gives a little bit of space back there. And yeah, you'll have individual coil control. So hopefully um, the LS1 coils and if you want to go crazy, you can use you know, super high power individual coils. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to um, hook up the fuel injectors. I disconnected them while I was testing. So I'm gonna hook those back up and open the garage door so I don't die of carbon monoxide and try and fire this thing up. Here goes nothing. Fired. That's good. I'm um, not sure that I'm actually getting a good connection here at this coil, so I'm going to disconnect my test leads and wire it back up and then try and fire it up again. Got the wire disconnected. Hopefully I'll get a better connection now uh, and I'll be able to check the timing, make sure it's correct. Um, even though I checked it on the scope and it looked pretty darn close, I'd like to just check it with the timing light and make sure everything's all good and go good to go. So let's just get this thing fired up.
device, the pickup had an arrow, 